Where have all the music solos gone? Whatever happened to those heartfelt solos that we heard and felt in music? Sure, the music today is catchy and it draws the crowd, but now there are no more solos in popular music. And if there are some solos, it's very scarce. In the comments, tell me what's your favorite solo or what's one solo that you recall that left you in complete awe? First, let's talk about keyboard and piano solos or synth solos. I have a few here and I wanna cover the past and then I wanna bring in something that's more present to see if it holds up to the type of caliber of musicianship we experienced in the past. I'll let you be the judge of that. All right, let's go right into the first video. Play it, man. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. As you can see, this exhilarating piano solo, and not only in this live performance is Billy playing the piano, but he's also playing the harmonica, he's singing, the true musicianship. It was just something that happened, right? You all could not just get on stage without knowing how to sing properly with no auto-tune. You could not get on stage unless you knew how to play an instrument. And most of the times the cats played instruments and they sang at the same time. So the level of intricacy was so big back then. And this is what we are missing in today's music. Now don't get me wrong. I know some of y'all might be knocking me on the head like, hey. No, I'm, you know, hey man, you know, don't diss to me today's music. I love today's music. I really do. But I want to acknowledge where we came from because we wouldn't be able to get to the where we are now, technology-wise, with music, if it wasn't for those that came before us. And music is kind of turning around. It's making a U-turn, and it's actually going back in the same direction of where we came from. You got cats like Silk Sonic, you got uh, Dua Lipa, that, you know, some of them are starting to bring back those old school, groovy, like, dance numbers, and that is what's gonna bring this music back. But, we need some solos. So maybe somebody out there is gonna put some solos in their music. Now even me, I have a solo in a few of my songs, but I don't always have them. And I'm gonna get back into doing more of that myself. All right, the next song is a phenomenal tune. And I have the privilege of actually performing this song quite a bit with a friend of mine, Robert Nelson. You've probably seen some videos on this channel if you have tuned into this channel before. But we love this song, Georgie Porgy and it was originally written by David Paish or David Paish. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Apologize if I'm not. And it was also redone by Eric Benet and it's probably been done by a few other people since then. But I found this live version a while ago and it is phenomenal. I just gotta let you all know, if you haven't checked this out, I have a list, a playlist that I'll include in the description that you can actually just go and listen to all, absorb this music as much as you can. All right, let's listen to this. This is awesome, you all. I'm starting right at the piano solo, which is towards the end of the tune, okay? Using a lot of blues, licks, okay, finger rolls. Oh yes. A lot of chromaticism and motives. As you know, it's one good thing to like make sure that you have those motives in music. Like you don't have to put a lot in it, but this is stuff that makes it very singable. Eh, eh. Oh. Yes, sir. Play it. You gotta love those accents. If you have not heard the rest of that tune, definitely hear that. Great tune. Like I said, there's plenty of piano, electric keyboard, synth solos that we could talk about. Let me bring it up to the future, or not the present right now. Are there people that are still including solos in their music? Now, 
When you're performing live, a lot of people, you have more freedom to add and enhance the sound, which is what everybody expects, right? When you go to a live concert, you want to see something different than what was on a record. Like, nobody wants to just go listen to the actual record. We want to see something spectacular. Now, I will say this. Charlie Puth did include a solo in a tune called Boy, which is on his Voice Notes album. came out in 2018. Uh, and this is from the tour, basically. I don't know exactly where it's live at, but the link is in the description as well if you want to check this out. Now, I have really fell in love with Charlie Puth uh, because, yes, he is popish and he's including, you know, all those elements of Karen Pop, but he's also including those fat jazz chords and he's soloing and the structure of the music is amazing. For him to be someone that's young, you know, and still bringing that old school feel to today's music. So I appreciate that. Let's listen to this solo from Charlie. Okay, a lot of blue scale used in here. Ugh. Chromatic lines and adding is almost like a bop line. You ever seen a person like solo and they're just singing it? And then, you know, most real soloists, and I won't say real soloists because some people don't have to do that. But when you really get into it and you're not worried about the rest of the stage, worried about the rest of the people, and then you're like focused directly on what is going on in the music. You're not worried about who's an audience, who's listening to you. You're just feeling it. And you start singing it and you get these little motives. And sometimes you might even surprise yourself when you're solo and you're like, man, I didn't even know I can do that. Wow. I'm gonna keep a listen to it. Okay, using some scales. Stand. Uh-huh. More singing. Yeah. Yeah. I love you so much, Hong Kong. We love you too, Charlie. All right. Yes, sir. All right. And that's Charlie Poof, you all. Hey, and it's pretty cool that he's able to keep that still going. Like, you know, this is, you know, 2018. He's still producing music. And he's one that when he solos, like he's going in. And he's definitely going to add solos on his songs. This concert, like, he picked up his guitar. I mean, he went all in, y'all. So it's spectacular.